everybody. This is Miss Jessie again from the Central Library of the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library. And today we're going to be making roller coasters. So we're making a couple different runs for marbles or ping pong balls or any other little balls you might have around your house. Um, and we're going to be working with forces like friction and gravity and to see how we can make these things move. So to do this today, you're going to need a couple different things. Um, we're going to need our scissors again. So if you need to use sharp scissors, you might want to go grown up, but we're going to be cutting paper. So you might be able to use little kitty scissors. We're going to have some tape. I brought both um, some duct tape and some masking tape. We're going to need some cardboard rolls. So I've got toilet paper and paper towel rolls here. Um, I have some paper plates. I have some foam plates. I have some cardboard that was out of my recycling bin. And I have some paper cups. And we'll also be trying this with some marbles and with some ping pong balls. So let's see what we can do. So the easiest marble run to make is one that uses four paper plates and one paper towel tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle by tracing my paper towel tube on four of my plates like this, and I'm going to cut those circles out. I'm just going to make a scissor cut straight through and then cut around my circle, and I'll be right back. All of my plates cut, so there's a slit where I went in, and then I cut around my circle like this, and we're going to start attaching them to our paper towel. So we actually just slide the paper towel tube in here and we're going to start taping these or gluing them, the way you want to go, to the tube and then we're going to attach the next one underneath like this and we're going to tape this part of the ramp to this tube, turn around so you can see it, and kind of keep going down our tube so we've got a ramp. I'm going to put the tape on the bottom of my ramp so that way our ball can smoothly move around. If we put a piece of tape on the top, it actually might cause some friction that might make our ball stop or it might get sticky and our ball might get stuck. So let me put all my plates together and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so I'm done building here. So what I've done was I've taken all of my plates and I taped them to each other where the cuts were. So my tape marks are coming undone. It's a little humid around here today. So I'm going to go ahead and tape that again. So I went ahead and taped these all and I bent up the sides. I did that because my ball kept falling off on the curve. So I put up the sides so that hopefully it will keep my ball in. And you might need to add a little bit of motion to make it go down. But I found it was much easier with my ping pong ball. You might have a little bouncy ball in your house or some other little ball from a toy that'll work. And so if you put it on here, it's going to go all the way down. <sighs> go all the way to the end. Now I'm going to build a roller coaster and show you how that works. Now for the bigger roller coaster, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these plates again and I'm going to cut pretty much most of the center out. We really want to use this lip part and in fact we might be putting two lips together so that our marble has a nice place to run so it doesn't fall off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this center section off of a whole bunch of plates and then I'll be back when we're ready to build. I've been working hard here for a little bit and what I did was I said I just cut off the edge of paper plates like this and I've been taping them. I started up here and I taped it to a full paper towel and I've been working my way down. I'm like, I've been cutting some paper towel rolls so they're shorter and using a toilet paper roll here. I taped the whole thing down to a piece of cardboard from my recycling bin so that it stayed steady. And I've been running balls down to see where they get stuck and where they fly off. So when they fly off like this right here, we need another rail. So what I'm doing there is I'm taking another piece of paper plate and I'm taping it up on the edge so that it has something to bump against so that it goes down. So I'm going to keep working. Remember, sometimes in science you have to try it again and again until you get it right. So let me keep trying. So I had to work at this for a little bit and I had to keep adding some corners and some curves. I added some loops to go through and I added some banked curves here. So some of these are actually four plates deep to make sure I could get all the corners. And now I'm going to see if I can get my ping pong ball to go all the way from the top into the cup at the bottom. I stood up. I have the ping pong ball in my hand. I'm going to put it at the top of the trackway up here. And I'm going to see if I can get through the whole roller coaster and get it into the cup at the end. Let's see. Yay, I did it. Thanks for joining me this Saturday. Have fun making your own roller coaster. And I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.